talking about ways of holding a knife. Um, if you've seen videos where I am holding knives, and there are quite a few of them, there will be a playlist right there, you're probably going to notice that I brace with my thumb towards the spine there, and occasionally, very occasionally, I'll put it on that side. The reason for that has to do with disarms, but another common favorite is holding it like that. Now that little flippy trick that I did right there is the subject of today's video because I see a lot of people in my own life bringing the knife out, flip it around this way, and then fold it in to their hand that way. It, you're, you're holding the knife by friction when you're doing that. There's no good way to get it back up into a forward grip from that, uh, using that style. I, don't like that. So I'm doing this video to show you how I do things. All right, the steps are pretty simple. Depending on how flexible your hands are, you might want to shift the knife towards your fingers, where you can you can still hold a grip like this, but you're getting it out of the meat of your palm. Now you're going to take these two fingers over here and put them in front of the knife, down far enough so that when you flip it around. It's going to fall so that your fingers land where they ought to, usually in these finger grooves right here for the index finger. It'll land about right here, and that's why you can see why we want it out of the flesh of our palm. Then shift it around with your fingers and grip it right there. To do it in reverse, and this is an important part because nobody ever shows you how to get it out of these things. You can do the exact same thing, or you can flip these two fingers up, push the knife out into these fingers, flip, so a little slower, flip, grip, fold, and good. I do this relatively often. Advantages. Doing a flip this way does not rely on friction to hold the knife steady. It puts everything in manual control that way. There's no oomph flipping around like that. You can do it as quickly or slowly as you like. And it also doesn't depend on hand orientation. So I'm going to stand up. And I'm going to show you from a different angle. So we have our knife here. Fold there. But let's flip it around and see if it still works. Yep. A lot of the friction-based flips do not work from any orientation. You would have to give it a little oomph and let release tension and catch it in order to get it to work from that way. Not a problem that I'm having right here, you notice. Pretty simple trick, pretty short video. If that was useful to you, you might also get a kick out of the back flick, my other knife trick video that I have out right now, although I eventually plan on doing uh, a playlist of Malasong tricks. Not the same old ones over and over again, but a couple of ones that I've been playing around with for the past however long. A couple years, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, getting old. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you can uh, visit either of those two things, or you can give me a like to raise my ranking in search results and make me more common in the sidebar suggested watching of people who are into, into this kind of thing. Or you can be a little bit more proactive about that and share this video around to people yourself on places like Reddit or Facebook or whatever it is that you happen to be using. Um, you can give me a subscription so that you see more videos from me about knives. I do knife reviews. Meh. I do 
discussion about pieces of kit for customizing knives, like the breakaway clasps right there, or the knot that serves much the same function, which you can see right there. I also do plenty of knot tying how-tos, like about shoelaces. Tie your shoelaces extremely quickly, or extremely securely, or just do your shoelaces differently than everybody else. Like that, or like that. Okay, that should be plenty of options. Lots and lots of annotations. All of those links will be down in the comments, or over in the comments if they change things around again. Or if you're watching this on a non-YouTube service at some point in the future, for whatever reason, um, there should be comments somewhere that will give you those links. Maybe, uh, if not, then you at least are able to find me, uh, Torbuck Transom, and know that I made videos of that nature. It should be somewhere on the internet. The internet never forgets. Anyway, um, I also have a shop on Etsy where I make things like the belt that you see me wearing okay, from time to time, like the wrap right here, and I'm going to show you, uh, not the belt, but my flashlight retention cord. This is very handy. And in fact, right now, I'm going to do a video about how the flashlight retention cord is the definitive way of carrying your flashlight. Click through right here to find out more about that. Alright, thank you very much for watching.